Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode one of a new Let's Try. This is a game that came out off of, of a quite popular series and kind of flipped the series on its head a bit, I feel. Um, kind of underrated. It's got mixed reviews on Steam. And uh, judging by the trailer, I was like, wow, this looks really good. I picked it up quite a while ago. And I have no idea why I'm starting it now. This just happened to come. So here we are. So I haven't played this game yet. So it's going to be new for me. Might be new for you guys. Um, so without further ado, this is episode one of Let's Try King's Bounty 2. And I may have to pause the game here in a second. But let's go, son. We're going to get it in. And see what the game has to offer. I know it's got really detailed and deep turn-based combat. And it looked like it had a lot of cool cutscenes and animation and stuff like that. For a tactical RPG. Which is not usually the main focus, but... Looks like they really put a lot of love into this one. And, uh, we're going to see. I don't know how long this uh, series will go for. But, oh, there's my cue. Be right back, guys. All right, we are back. Let's, uh, hit the brightness and contrast here a bit. That looks about right. Maybe 1.2. Looking good. All right, let's get into the settings here. Subtitles, tutorial tips, animation speed, battle camera font size. Subtitles, voiceover in English. Show shield, headwear, weapon during dialogues, highlight interactive objects, controls hint when exploring, tracked quest when exploring, resources when exploring, razor chroma. I don't have a razor chroma. Um, that was game. Video, borderless window, max frame rate. Can only go up to 60. Disabled. Field of view 90, NPCs on screen high. Video advanced. Ultra. V-Sync on, or rather G-Sync for my laptop, everything at Ultra, F3 save, that's a weird button to press, but okay, sound looks good, controls, we'll have to see how this works in game, WASD nice, we'll go over this as we get in the game, so let's hit new game and see what uh, what's up, uh, why not play on hard? Character selection. We've got three choices. We've got Avar, the warrior. A long time ago, Avar, descendant of an impoverished noble family, used to be a knight of the royal guard. However, at a crucial moment, he refused to support the coup that eventually led to King Claudius' ascension to the throne. This got him banished from the guard. Avar escaped to Artisania, where he earned a fine reputation as a mercenary and became the captain of his own troop, the Hounds of War. Recently, Avar received an invitation to the Universal Assembly. There, Prince Adrian promoted, promised to pardon him and offered a good position within the Royal Guard. He's a mercenary, master of warfare with average leadership. Units under his command have the best combat characteristics. Battle Prep 1, Heroes gain plus 3 warfare. Practice 1, increase the unit's XP for winning battles by 10%. Power Balance 1, Morale Penalty for Power Ideal Units is reduced by 1 when combined with units of other ideals. Retribution 1, Allied Units Damage increased by 5% for each wounded member. Then we've got Catherine the Mage. Catherine comes from a long line of noble Rygern Counts, the rulers of the rugged mountain region of Nostria. She spent more than 20 years away from Nostria, roaming the dragon ruins and the remains of ancient Antis, looking for arcane knowledge and magic. <coughs> 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 
Unexpectedly, even for herself, Catherine stopped receiving the taxes she needed to fund her expeditions and mystical research. Apparently, Catherine's nephew, Maurice, had taken over her county. Outraged by this, she headed to the Universal Assembly in order to demand the return of her power from the king. She's a sorceress, mistress of the arcane, a powerful sorceress, uses the most powerful spells in battle. Magic of Air and Fire allows learning of Air and Fire spells from scrolls. Earth and Ice, same idea, Earth and Ice spells from scrolls. Finesse Balance 1. Morale penalty for finance ideal units is reduced by one when combined with units of other ideals. And Insidious Maneuver 1. When dealing damage, allied unit has a 25% chance to remove a random buff from target enemy and apply buff to itself. Wow, that's really powerful. And then we've got Elisa Paladin. Elisa is a peasant girl from Lorien who believes in her special mission to save all of Nostria. Her homeland in Lorien has been caught up in civil war for more than 10 years. During a clash between farmers and mercenaries, Elisa suddenly acquired magic abilities that helped her push the enemy back, away from her village and then away from all of southern Lorien. Chosen by the will of her people, Elisa headed to the Universal Assembly. She wants the king to recognize her as legate on behalf of her people. In that way, she would gain access to military resources and other means of establishing order in Nostria. She's a protector, natural leader with middling magical abilities, able to recruit the largest number of units in the shortest amount of time. Magic of Life and Light 1 allows learning of life and light spells from scrolls. Order Balance 1, morale penalty for order ideal units is reduced by 1 when combined with units of other ideals. Protection 1, all all allied units gain plus 5 armor in the first round of combat, that's nice. Phantasmal armor, all allied units gain plus 5 resistance in the first round of combat. So there's Elisa. There's Catherine. I think we're going to be Avar. Not very magical. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be Avar. Space start game. Let's go, son. Let's go over these one more time. Average leadership, but the units under his command have the best combat characteristics. The hero gains plus three warfare. 10% extra XP for winning battles. The power ideal units morale penalty is reduced by one when combined with units of other ideals. And the damage, each unit's damage increased by 5% for each wounded member. Let's go. Let's get it in. We're going to check this out together, guys. Hope you'll join me on this journey. I don't know how long it'll be. I never do. But um, the game seems very interesting, so there's that. Could be a long one. Probably not going to be a short one. Alrighty. Kingdom of Nostria, Albion Highlands, Fort Crucis. Crucis. Age of Prosperity, year 320. Nice graphics. Get up! Come on, hurry! The warden is calling! Huh. Are you really going to save Nostra, as they say? What's your angle? Huh. You can discuss it with Warden Valber. Come out of that cell, I'll escort you. And what if I refuse? Let's go. You know the warden doesn't like to be kept waiting. The sooner you get to his office, the sooner you'll learn everything. I can tell you this much. It's good news for you. Hmm. All right, here we go. We're in our cell. Follow Bastion, quest log J. Illyrian. They're green. How was I supposed to know it was meant for the royal broth? What do you steal? Come again, fella? Still a, a leak? Alright, M for the map. Oh, look at this juicy map. Very nice. Very... Whoa, whoa. Very nice. This might not even be the whole open world. Just a part of it. Follow Bastion. J is quest log. 
Freedom at last, but what do they want from me? For the time being, I'll obey the jailer's orders, and then we'll see. First, I have to find out where they're taking me. The road to Marcella. Weird things are happening at the prison fort of Crucis. Valbert, the warden, wants to see me. He's got good news for me. To be honest, after spending six months in his cage, any news is good news. Walk. Do, 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 do. What was that? Notice. Prison routine. Sunrise, wake, personal hygiene. Morning breakfast, a.k.a. lunch. Noon, singing of the Nostrian anthem. Day, community service, carpentry, wood carving, animal care. Sunset, singing of the Crucis prison anthem. Evening dinner, pious reflection on the benefits of solitude and work, and night sleep. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just... He, he went ahead. Who's this Damien character? Who is he? He's the artisanian envoy to the Crown Lands. Everyone knows of him. All right. I can stand one more month here if I have to. Ah, I had heard you were an artisanian spy, but I thought it was a tall tale. I'm a merchant, and I have the invoices to prove it, as well as letters of passage, wagons, goods. <laughs> huh. Really? Why are you here, then? Skip out on the grain tariff, did you? <laughs> uh, why do I waste my words on the likes of you? <laughs> Anyone else yelling? There's another notice or something. I served time under Vitellius and Claudius. Now I'm serving time under Adrian. But it looks like this will be the last time I serve. Magistrate Tweet has started a very serious business. Definitely the last time. Nobody leaves Cruces. You're probably right, my friend. I thought I was covering Tweet's run-of-the-mill bureaucratic thievery. But he was caught with his greasy meat hooks in the royal treasury. And I only learned about it while standing before the show. Hmm. Let's read this. Tablet. The vile tyrant Vitellius served a sentence in this dungeon. Deprived of the opportunity to work evil, he withered and soon died. I have no idea what people are talking about, but let's go. They ran out to who knows where. Where could they run? There's nothing but snow and hungry wolves for miles. The Batil gates guard the bottom of the mountain. No one will let them go farther than that. And the opening near Witch's Stone is being knocked down right now by Rossum's golems. It's better not to be on the wrong side of a golem's fist. We jailers are like doting nannies in comparison. <laughs> a golem is a mountain of clay without a soul, without a heart. One punch and he'll shatter your bones to dust. Huh. Golems are dangerous, no doubt. But you're new to this area, Bert. Otherwise, you'd know there's another road to rigor. Uh, it's not in the best condition. It's lying abandoned now, and there's danger of landslides. But it's there nonetheless. I suspect that the dwarves used it to leave for Rigan. Hmm. Menu. Breakfast, water, and bread. Lunch. Bread soup with water. Dinner. Corned beef. Water. Note. On weekends and holidays, prisoners are entitled to a handful of raisins should they be available. <laughs> that is pretty poor. Your belongings are in yonder chest. Take everything or you'll freeze to death. The prison's warmer than outside. Slight pestilence has struck Montfortree. The quarantine is everywhere. Mages forced to wear masks like common bandits. Huh. The undead are climbing out of their graves all over the crown lands. I wonder if the necromancers have returned, like in the olden times. It's a good thing Crucis is in the middle of Mactus knows where. Or Mactus is nowhere. <laughs> the troubles can't reach us here. It's nice and safe. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Alright, we've got leather armor. 2,500 gold, burning ray, stone skin, healing. Hmm, can we actually cast those? Take all, put on the leather leather uh, armor. The Book of Magic B. Researching and upgrading spells. To research a spell, you must have a scroll with the relevant spell. 
research the appropriate talent at the major school, have developed arcane knowledge to the required level. Research spells are upgradable to rank 3. As with research, upgrading requires the appropriate talent and arcane knowledge level. Researching and upgrading spells consumes crystal mana. Continue. Burning Ray. Not enough mana to learn the spell. Magic of Air and Fire 1 needed and Arcane Knowledge 5 deals 100 to 130 damage and inflicts burning debuff on enemy unit, which means they take 20 to 26 damage at the beginning of its turn for two turns. I hope we can uh, eventually deal with this. School of Air and Fire are spells that deal direct damage, power up allied units, and summon creatures. I don't know if there's another school... Oh, Life and Light. Spells that heal or increase the stats of allied units. There's Healing 1. Restores 100 to 140 units or health to an allied unit. School of Earth and Ice are spells that control enemies and summon creatures. Stone Skin 1 applies armor, increased buff to an allied unit, plus 25 armor for two turns. All right, that's the Book of Magic. It's beastly cold outside. Time to fetch more practical garments from the chest. Bastion opened the door of the cell, but it merely opens into the courtyard. The wind of freedom is bitterly cold. Now we need to find the office of the warden, Valbert. He's sure to be holed up somewhere warm. All right, let's roll out. I've got my leather armor on. Oh, wow. Notice. Attention, a dragon has been spotted over Albus Ridge. In case of a dragon situation, prisoners are advised to lie down on the cell floor and cover their heads to protect from the lizard's fiery breath. <laughs> this game already has some cool humor. For Crucis. Hmm. anybody sorry buddy <laughs> talk to ace then bug off human I'm busy hmm or not you shall not go any further until you receive your papers and also Guards, a horse, and sundry equipment you will need in the world beyond. Otherwise, you will freeze or be torn apart by a roving pack of wolves. <laughs> All right. Wow, okay. Let's come down here then. Decim. What are you doing here? Get away. <laughs> No one quite too friendly just yet. <laughs> ah, fire. Look at all the cool stuff laying around. Very nice and detailed graphics. Alright, I guess we, uh... Well. Head down that way. Let's head up in this room, though, and see what's up here. What did that say? Leaving the prison. Oh, it is this way. That's our marker. Disturbing news, Sir Warden. Something is rotten in the state of Nostria. There's a pestilence upon the mage factory. Refugees from that quarter are arriving at Marcella, but aren't being allowed into the city. I wish we could kick some of these bastard prisoners here, out into the cold. <laughs> the cells will all be empty. Because only the Bastards serve time in our prisons. Huh. It's so peaceful and quiet here. 
Hello. Have you not seen the living dead yet? Best Hello. not take the air near the cemeteries around Marcella. The undead are ferocious. They rage as if something had driven them from their graves at Spearpoint. What are mages good for anyway? Doesn't no one at the tower care about the situation? Ha! <laughs> mages. Almost all of them have gone to solve the problem at the mage factory. However much huh. they investigate, they cannot find a solution. Our Rossum is of the same ilk. His excessive smarts don't seem to do him any good. <laughs> what about Madame de Guyane's cell? Do they still serve the best wines? Are thoughts of wine the only thing floating around that brain of yours? <laughs> oh, but of course. Madame de Guyane maintains the highest standards. Have you ever tried a fresh vintage of Fusk? When you're in Marcella, hit the park. Albert. So much fuss and all for what? Who the hell do you think you are making me wreak havoc in my prison? My name is Ivor, leader of the famous Hounds of War, if that tells you anything. Hmm. Well, well. I heard a little more than that. As Flavius the Wisecracker eloquently wrote, there's <laughs> nothing new in this world. But I haven't received a letter like this in all seven years of my tenure at Crucis. Prince Adrian orders that you be freed and sent to Marcella. Also, you won't be leaving here on foot. I was ordered to return your gold and belongings, provide you with a horse, and, let me read it aloud, allocate some of my own garrison as your personal guard. <laughs> Madness! About time. Whether the prince is sane or not is of no consequence. I cannot disobey my liege. Bastion should have returned your money and belongings by now. <laughs> if he didn't steal them himself, <laughs> Ordermaster Aston will supply you with weapons. As for gold, you have plenty already. Go to Desim to collect your guards. He has a platoon of troublemakers he's wanted rid of for a long time now. He'll be glad to hand them over. I also advise you to purchase some dogs for the road. And what else did His Highness request? <laughs> ah, yes, a horse. Levit the stable boy has a soft spot for nags too old and worn down to work. I'm sure he can pick one out for you. As you say, Warden. There are three type of merchants in the game. Recruiters selling units for your army. Armorers selling armor and weapons, and merchants selling magic items, scrolls, and mage gear. Quest updated, leaving the prison. Leaving the prison, we got a letter of passage. Selected remarks of His Majesty the King, collected by court writer Flavius the Wisecracker. I like to eat apple salad in the morning, just sitting by the window, looking at the fields, eating salad. Suddenly I find myself gripped by an unexpected pang of sorrow. Such sweet sorrow. <laughs> I don't like these crowns and helmets. Too much pressure on the neck. I owe a lot to my parents, especially my mother and father. <laughs> the tree doesn't fall far from the apple, and Adrian is a nice boy indeed, if you know what I mean. People around the world perceive me not only as a king, but also as a spiritual leader. I feel happiest when I am truly happy. A person, you see, is much larger than his own stomach. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Hey, puppy. Hi. I guess that's everything here. Why do you say that? Think about it. Our king threw someone in prison, and his son releases him. Ah. Any minute now, he might decide to release all the prisoners. Then where would we be? Without our livelihoods, is where. Huh. Oh, don't be such an idiot. If that's so, we'll simply find new jobs. Crucis <laughs> will have lost its purpose, and we can return home to sun and warmth. Remember that? <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right, Mail. <laughs> Pretty interesting. So, for weapons, we had to ace then. Our old buddy over here. A hundred at a time. Wow. Vanished as it burnt by Arik. Huh. You get everything running smooth. Everything in its place and everything's working. A brood of vipers. 
When I find out who's been digging around here, I'll cut them in half. It's dead. What do you need, human? A shovel, perhaps? Have you been sent to the stables, too? No. The warden ordered a weapon be made available for purchase. And a good one, mind you. Oh, sacred forefathers. Why would I ever do that? As of today, I am no longer a prisoner. Good Prince Adrian has ordered my freedom. By Magnus's horns? This is the first time I've ever seen a human leave Crucis on their own two feet. If you got gold, treat yourself to something new. Go ahead. Hmm. So we gotta buy our weapon. But he also said purchase some dogs for the road. So I don't want to spend all my money. Buy equipment from Aston. Decim has a. Uh... Have the lumberjacks brought us our firewood? No, they haven't. What's taking them so long? <laughs> what if wolves ate them like they did with Rald? We're gonna freeze to death without fuel. Decim? Halt! What are you doing here? You're not permitted to be wandering about like a stray cat. I'm free now. The Warden said you're to provide me with an armed escort. So Centurion, it's true. The Warden received a missive from the Prince ordering the provision of a guard troop for the prisoner. A uh, former prisoner. Huh? Never heard of a prisoner being released. Now, well, I believe I have some laggards and troublemakers I can spare. Can I go too? Oh, how I miss the sunny warmth of the capital. No, Bastion, you're not <laughs> rotten enough to let go. I can still make a decent guard out of you. Perhaps you could give me a few fighting hounds as well. The only thing you'll be getting for free is a family of bedbugs. I spent a year training those hounds. Now if we're talking about an exchange of gold for flesh, that's another bowl of kibble entirely. You'll get the best dogs in Nostria. Hounds of war. Sounds familiar. Are they any good? These recruits might not be the brightest candles at the feast, but my fighting dogs are as fierce as the Warden himself. You won't regret a single gold piece spent on these animals. Huh. Alright, buy a squad full of dogs. Awesome. Um, check the quest log. News both wonderful and terrifying, Prince Adrian has taken an interest in me, the same Prince Adrian who ordered me incarcerated six months ago. I've got a feeling something's going to happen at this meeting. In the meantime, I need to fetch some gear from the Dwarf Quartermaster and hire guards from the local Centurion. I have guards now, but Centurion Decim turned out to be quite a skinflint, or a bit of a skinflint. He's charging quite a sum for his fighting dogs. The warriors around here claim that traveling the Valley of New Hope without an armed escort means certain death, as the wolves will shred you into bite-sized pieces. It seems I must hire a full complement of these hounds. Alright, um... Alright. Let's see what we've got here. Spearmen. Our army is three... Out of three spearmen. You know what? Hold on a second. Can I save? Is there a quick save button, I wonder? Let's try F5. Seem to do something. Yep, quick save, F5. Beautiful. So our army's three out of three spearmen. Uh, recruits. Let's see what we've got here. 16 to 22 melee damage. Three out of eight unit size, number of unit members, current slash available with the hero's leadership. The number cannot exceed zero. 150 leadership reflects the size of the unit the hero is able to command. The sum total leadership of every unit cannot exceed the, the hero's leadership. Makes sense. No range damage. 5% armor reduces received physical damage. 0% resistance reduces received magic and elemental damage. Health, 58. Health of a unit member. Health of all unit members. Oh. Once a unit member loses all health, it is wounded and can't participate in a battle. A unit with no healthy members dies. 
so there's one dog it looks like because this says 63 189 the first number being the individual and the third being the total so there's just one here five percent critical hit chance which is equal to 150 percent of the unit's max damage initiative four determines the sequence of unit turns in a round higher skill grants a higher place in the sequence and speed number of hexes a unit can travel in one turn it's got critical hit chance plus two for every other beast unit in the allied army has a control zone melee fighter decisive blow the first attack in a battle deals 20 percent more damage and his active skill is bloody bite deals 22 damage and inflicts bleeding debuff on enemy unit consumes attack ap cooldown two turns unit takes three to four damage at the beginning of its turn for two turns uh, morale high morale increases the chance to gain an additional turn oh low morale increases the chance to skip a turn unit morale may incur penalties if the army mixes units with different ideals neutral unit has no bonus or penalties this guy has the spearmen have positive plus one unit has 10 percent chance to gain another turn sources plus one when following units are present order and they are indeed order the beasts are order the rank their animals dogs of war all right oh there's three of them 300 apiece space bar will buy oh go to stats oh uh, um Three of them is 900. Let's go, son. Bong bong. Press Y to view all your army units. Go to units. Wait. What's a V? No. All right, get out. Is it in here? There we go. We've got our army class here, spearmen, dogs of war, 470 leadership, I guess, 1600 gold. Now we spent 900 on them. Inventory. Look at all the slots to equip stuff. That's awesome. Two ring slots. Nice. Right now we have an armor plus one leather armor. Our characteristics, arcane knowledge, grants ability to research and upgrade spells, increases amount of mana available in combat. That's a one. Magic power increases damage dealt by spells by 1% and the duration of periodic spell effects by one round for every 75 skill units. That's a one. Warfare seven, increase allied unit damage by 4.7% and army influence armor plus one. And again, we have letter of passage from Crucis. Valbert the Warden is quite a stickler for rules. I'll have to show him this document to pass through the Batil gates and out of the Al Albion Highlands. And then our three scrolls. That's everything. Let's look at the other slots. We've got, oh, talents. Look at this. Quite interesting. Mercenary is Master of Warfare with average leadership. Units under his command have the best combat characteristics. We've got Power Balance 1. Oh, we saw these, right? Retribution 1. Over here in the Power, we've got Practice. No talent points. There's order, power, finesse, and anarchy. We've got battle prep. Cool. Then we've got quests. And then a glorious, glorious map, which we can pull up a legend. We can place markers with right click. Um, can change the scale of it by zooming up and down. Beautiful. This is Albion. Oh, this is just the Albion Highland, son. This big thing. Wow. So that's not the whole world map. As you can see, this road just comes down here probably to the Patil Gates and whatnot. Awesome. All right. We bought our dogs. Um, let's see what weapons are available. One weapon. A crossbow. Common item, warfare plus one, 300 gold. Uh, that's all you've got. Redeem tab. All right, we redeemed it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, space buy. There we Hastened go. didn't shortchange you on equipment. 
I warrant you'll survive the Albion Highlands. Go, human. May your body be as hard as flint and your soul as clear as crystal. Thanks for the kind Thank words, you. Aston. May you be well, too. Mm -hmm. Nice of the fellow to say. Fetch the horse from Levitt the groom. See if we can explore a bit around, though. Guess not. Even some kind of footprints, no? Some folk they are, despite their small size. I read that in ancient times they built palaces underground. Mm. That was before the rebellion when everything came crashing down. That was under Kamat. Uh, he promised to pay them, but instead deceived them. Have you heard about the city of Amboss in Rigern? It's a trading hub like Floster, the one where dwarves and humans live together. Huh. The same? They also mine rock crystals there. Nice little town. Uh, okay, it's nice. And what about it? All right. Have you heard about the prince's messenger killed there? He was done in by a dwarf. Yes, I heard something about it. That it was a jewel of honor. But I don't know the reason behind it. Huh. You've got a real soft spot for the dwarves, Jacques. It's not the dwarves I admire, but justice. Uh, the dwarves seem doomed to a rough time. At first they were oppressed by the Serpentines, and as soon as they were freed, the Regurnians rolled in. We're free people, yes. But they're maybe not so free. And more than this, they're not humans. Hmm. Interesting lore and stuff. I love the more traditional medieval settings and the different twists on things. That's why I'm playing this now, too, because uh, when I saw it in my games list, it really spoke to me. No bowing courtiers with forelocks a drag on the parquet. Uh -huh. No prostrate petitioners prattling. And women. Ah, it's all right, brother. I'm free from my cell. Just wait. Oh my. Who's there? <laughs> um. How long have we been playing? Has it been a while? 37 minutes already. Ah, it's you. You're the one who poisoned that scoundrel, Claudius. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Actually, I didn't exactly... Don't be <laughs> modest. You did a great thing here, and history will not forget you. You <laughs> seem to have lost your mind. <laughs> Can you give me a horse? All you're asking is a horse? Just a horse? Have no worry. You'll get our best. Saddle up quickly. You've probably forgotten how to ride after half a year in a cell. You can go now. Actually, wait. What is it? I wanted to warn you about sentry golems. Be wary of them once you're past New Tyrene. Golems? What are they doing outside the prison? The mage Rossum took them to clear a landslide. What they lack in brain, they make up in brawn. Since they don't know you've been released, they're liable to crush you. As you pass the southern ruins, find the archer's squad commander, Ansel. The royal messenger said the squad will join you and augment your escort. Uh -huh. I'm hoping that by the time you get there, they'll catch the marauder who's been raiding abandoned houses. Wonder why old Berengarius didn't turn him into a chicken. Is this Berengarius yeah. fellow another part of my escort? going to be quite the circus following me around. <laughs> That's up to his magicness. I have no authority <laughs> over him. Perhaps he'll decide to leave these cold, inhospitable lands for the warmth of the mage's tower. Come on, mount up. <laughs> I picked out the very bestest horse for you. He's calm and obedient. Stands as if he's rooted to the ground. Races like the wind itself. <laughs> and very smart. He'll find you anywhere if you just holler for him. Awesome. X is summon horse. Um, I'm going to save here. Talk to Levin again. You were pleased to hear of Claudius' supposed death. Why? Me? I simply despise tyrants. I hate living under a brutal regime. As for me, I've always preferred other methods of control. But what am I prattling about? 
I am not but a simple stable boy. I mean, huh. I never tyrannized horses by teaching to trot or canter. I used other methods of control. On horses. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. Reach the witch stone. So we'll check the journal real quick. Leaving the prison. Um... Yes, the feisty biting dogs have joined my cause. Time to find a stable and saddle myself a horse. The horse I was given is truly beyond praise, and this Levitt, as far as I can see, is no simpleton. I dread to even think about it, but it seems he's just a disgraced relative of King Claudius. But now, onward to freedom. I'm sick of the despair of this prison. Let's get moving. Runes of new hope. Farewell, Crucis. I sincerely hope this is the last time I look upon your grim walls. Bastion's warnings about golems are alarming, but maybe there's some way to avoid the danger. My path leads to the foot of the two-headed mountain called the Witch Stone. I've been ordered to travel from the prison of Crucis to Marcella, the capital. At first blush, it doesn't seem that hard. I just need to pass through the New Hope Valley. Then I'll be escorted by a squad under Ansel's command. Oh, it shows reward. We can flag them as uh, where well, we can track them. It shows we get extra reward, perhaps we get to choose. Interesting. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Episode one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We're going to mount our horse in a bit. I uh, just want to save, though. If you did enjoy, guys, please like, uh, like, comment, subscribe before leaving. Would really appreciate it. Help more people see this game as well. And uh, we'll get into it, guys. So far, so good. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, and more to come. So stay tuned for that. Look at these little secrets here. We'll open this box next time. <laughs> Let me save here so I don't forget it. There we go. And uh, until next time, guys, be well, live well, stay well. And much love, peace, and joy. Catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.